I have a Granny Smith apple tree in my backyard that is five years old. It has not grown much since I planted it. There's a white furry spot on one of the branches. Do you know what this is? Also, the past couple of years, it has what looks like sores in the bark. The affected bark on the branches are dark and enlarged. Early in the year, after it puts on new leaves, some of the branches will completely die. I would love to save the tree, but am not sure if it is worth saving. What do I need to do? Thank you. And this is from Miss Deborah right here in Cordova. So let's go back to the first question. Okay. All right. White furry spots on one of the branches. Mm -hmm. Do we know what that is? I think so. In yeah. Do we know what it is? What do you think in it is? It's an insect. Uh huh. And it's an insect. <laughs> well, well, and it's it's um, um, it's it's like the spittle bug, but it's mm -hmm. not. It, it's the woolly. Uh, it's the woolly, woolly apple, apple aphid. aphid. Woolly uh -huh. apple aphid. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's I it. was I was just trying to make sure yeah. that I was on it's, the right. Yeah. Path. That's you know the woolly <laughs> apple aphid. Yeah. And it is. It reminds me of the spittle bug because they both yeah. hide underneath. Their little white foam right. yeah, or cotton white mass cotton is mass is what it looks yeah. like, right? And it likes to sit there under the fair and feed on your plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it has pierced sucking mouth parts. Yeah, of course, and it produces those long, uh, white, waxy strands. Actually, for protection is why it does that. Yeah. So it's protection from chemicals, yeah. from chemicals and yeah. predators. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say they don't yeah. want the bugs. So I mean, the birds smart. come down and eat right. on them. So, yeah. and I think yeah. I mean I know that she's only seen that one. Bought of those, so mm -hmm. I don't think that's probably not causing all these other issues no, that she no, was talking about. No. Mm -hmm. um, but they can be detrimental to young trees, sure. and there are some root stocks that are actually resistant to the woolly apple aphids. So, mm -hmm. if that it's were becoming cheap. the major problem, I would say a selection of a variety that has the appropriate root stock would be the best option. Exactly there. right. But mm -hmm. I think there's other things going on exactly here. Exactly right, well. because again, those aphids will feed on limbs and mm -hmm. on the roots. Mm -hmm. All right. But yeah, that's another issue. So, because she has an affected area bark on the branches that are dark and enlarged. Mm -hmm. Those are cankers. Yeah. Okay. And those cankers are pretty much formed by black rot fungus. Mm -hmm. So, what you need to do is get in there and prune those out. Mm -hmm. At least, what would you say, six to eight inches into healthy I wood? I definitely would. Yeah. I sure would. Yeah. Those it, need to be pruned out, Miss Deborah. Uh, make sure you don't have any rotten fruit on the tree. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to get that off the tree and get them off the ground as well. Practice good sanitation. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that'll get you. Yeah, so, I, do you think she should try to save this tree, or it's been five know. years? It hasn't been grown five much. years. I'm well, thinking I might. It depends on how big it is, and if it's a, if it has produced any fruit for her. Sure. Yeah. And if it is, and she wants to save it, that's fine. But I would also suggest, like Celeste said, is there's some other varieties. Right. I have one and called have, right. Yeah Enterprise, mm -hmm. and it it hasn't had any. It's been three years old now, and it. Never gotten anything. And it produces, has it? And it hasn't produced, hasn't produced yet because it's, right. I mean, I, we're old. talking, okay. I got it. I I actually um, crafted, crafted it, it onto oh. a stock, and so I've started from zero. Okay. But it's three years old now, and it's taller than me, so that's good. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. We have hundreds of family plot videos for you to view.